G'day you dingleberry dynamos and welcome back to Hitman 3 for the all new update that brings us an all new release of some content that was released two years ago. Yes, I know it's hard to believe but I kid you not. Not only do we get to kill this guy again, but we're also fortunate enough to get some totally new, totally old, simply reskinned earphones. Look how exciting. And an even more exciting robot that we've had previously but has just been reskinned. Wow, great. And even better yet, we also, we also get this. Yep, we get this. This is, we get this. And the best part of it all is that it's not even free. It costs $7.50. Isn't that nice? I'm pretty sure that if this guy could talk right now, he'd be saying, Yes, $7.50 for this DLC content. Bargain. And honestly, I'm not even really that salty. $7.50 for this or $7.50 for some guns with the poncho. This is just obviously best value available. So without further ado, let's select our loadout, which is obviously going to be the ephemeral suit with eye patch. Oh, it's a good thing they included that eye patch. It's <laughs> that makes the outfit, doesn't it? Oh, wait, hold on. I completely missed this. This is included in the DLC bundle, too. My goodness, the value just keeps expanding. Banding exponentially, I can hardly believe it. I guess I'll be taking that. Now remember, this is an elusive target, meaning that if you f*** up, you cannot try to- That's not true, I can. I paid seven fifty, and I can try this as many times as I want. Good afternoon, 47. Good afternoon, Diana. It's great to be here in Miami amongst all the dolphins. So, admittedly, I remember absolutely nothing about this elusive target, except that it's based on a guy called Coffee Bean. But based on the introduction, it seems like they may have added a little bit in here, or maybe I'm just tripping but either way it seems like there are so many opportunities to kill this dude that it's basically a mission within itself and this guy look it's even got mission stories okay i don't remember it being this elaborate i like that hey go on dave ready dave ready a little bit of constructive criticism what? you could use a mint oh that's very constructive thank you i could also use an eye by the look of it hurry up buddy we're running real late here all right yeah okay dave just shut up mate i'm trying to talk to the audience hold up a second what does that name tag say it says quick Quick, f Dave, you're shaking a lot. Are you sure that's a cigarette or is that a cigarweed? Or maybe it's. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. All right, Dave, ready. I am ready. Talk to me. Dave, ready. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay. So, like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. Uh, but, uh,. You can't go in dressed like that. What do you mean? You're telling me I have to get out of this fancy outfit? Hold on a second, Dave. I'll be back in a second. Look at this. It's a disguise. Hey, dickhead. Oh, I all right, so we got ourselves a Kronstadt Bayside security card. Very, very tactically testicle. And now let's hang this guy up in here and then steal his clothes. Look at me. I just grew an eye. So with this newly acquired disguise, I should now be able to infiltrate the deepest depths of Kronstadt building place. Come on, everybody. We're going upstairs. I don't know what I'm doing. Having a midlife crisis. <laughs> Having a midlife crisis in the lobby of the building. Yeah, keep it real. What? Oh, I keep it real all the time, big boy. Hey, every... Ow. Oh, hey, <laughs> Hey, mate, how you going? Good thing I changed my outfit. This would have been awkward as hell if I rocked up looking like you. You need a mint twat. Whoa, that's so rude. I do actually. You got any? I'll just eat the ashtray full of cigarettes. Anyway, looking around the room, we do have a couple of things. We can poison the snails. Yep, snails. We can also kill everybody with muffins. Yep, muffins. And of course, the tremendously large kitchen knife just is hanging out. Oh. Nice and easy. Drop the knife. You okay, I dropped it, bro. What Stand the still. flip, dude? You are out Hand of control. <laughs> So, just between you and me, what I'm thinking at this point is that maybe we don't even need to go with this guy up to the executive floor. Maybe there's more than one way to dingle a dongle. Ow, where's the door? There we go. Dingle a dongle. Let me just grab these two coconuts off the floor before I explain. And this bloke's didgeridoo. Very, very Australian thing to do. As well as his dollar coin. Also very Australian. The reason I wonder this is because during... Are you really going to frisk me even though I clearly work here? Did do and all. Goodness me. Fair enough. Go ahead. Oh, hold on a second. The crackhead with the VIP ticket. Let's do some deja vu, -vu shall we? Oh, God. You can't hit that. Ah. Very, very tactically testicle. Thank you for the VIP pass, matey. And now to head on in. Hello, sir. Yes, I have my VIP invitation. Please observe. I am a very impressive... 
So here we are in the VIP area. There are a lot of impressive in here. <laughs> I must hold on. Oh, oh no. He, he saw my didgeridoo. Oh goodness me. This is terrible. Quick, run away, run away. <laughs> Blend into the crowd. Anyway, let's head on up to the VIP party and see if there's anything in here that we can use to our advantage to take down the undying. Do they ever clean these floors? Oh, brah, this music. This is pumping. Listen to this. Dun, 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 dun. I got my didgeridoo right here in my hand. Oh my goodness. Look at this guy hanging out all by himself, pretending to drink, but he really stinks. Smells like dirty bum bum juice. <laughs> <laughs> what is bum bum juice? All right, well, obviously today's bars were not particularly up to par, so I'm going to leave that VIP party and come out here because my name's not Marty. Anyway, at this point, I feel like I've totally dropped the ball. I have no idea what's going on, and I'm pretty sure that I just spent the past five minutes doing absolutely nothing productive. I also just summarized every single one of my videos. All right, back to Kronstadt building place we go. Oh, hold on a second. I waited a little bit too long, and Dave Reddy's obviously not ready anymore. You know what? I don't even think I need Dave Reddy. I'll just head up up here by myself. How you going, mate? Now, there's old Robbie boy. How you going, Rob? You looking great as usual. Handsome fellow you are. Uh, all right, this is the conference room. This is where old mate was before, but it looks like he's not in here anymore. Well, this is disappointing. Does anybody know where he went? Oh, speak of the devil. There he is right now. How you going, mate? You're on the old telephone, eh? Having a little bit of a chat? No, the main event takes place on the top floor. Oh, hold on. He's talking about stuff. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? We'll detonate the entire floor using a new new type of explosive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. New type of explosive. Okay, hold on. Wait a second. That sounds right up our alley. All right, let me sit down and be part of the meeting. Let's try a small exercise. Oh, no. What exercise? Suppose you were sent to kill me. Oh, uh, what? We're in this meeting Are you talking together. to me? You're sitting there in the chair waiting oh. for your moment. Oh, dear. This is How awkward. How would you kill me? What's the plan? Uh, oh, um, you kind of put me on the spot here. Something I've never thought about before. Goodness me. Um, I don't know. Maybe poke you in the eye. All right. Well, that didn't go exactly according to plan, but that's fine. I've got a bit of, uh, you know, I've got some other ideas up me sleeve. How about if I sneak my way up to old Do Robbo? Not have clearance. Turn oh. around now. All right. Fine. Fair enough. I understand. Now I have clearance. Very, very tactically testicle. So with this done, I will now open this door. I will throw me didgeridoo and I will wait for a great Australian stealth attack. Very, very Australian testicle. Yeah, this is what I was looking for for. Look at that. Mark Faber files. Let's grab the Faber files. All right. Now I have a feeling I can probably put this to good use. Oh, wait, hold on. He's in here too. What's going on in here? Oh, who's this guy? Special lab coat, probably important. And even more important is this huge boom, boom, bang, bang, boom, boom over here. Octane booster. Look at that. And this thing, what is this thing? This is um, top when caution horizontal, permanent, do not remove. All right, well, that's what I was looking for. Scan picture. Oh, okay, I could even scan his picture and this robot would probably just, like, kill him. That's so great. Better yet, though, is just the fact that there's so much Octane Booster, like, all around the place, even over here, and there's a big bomb on the table. And look, Octane Booster over here, too. And there's a big bomb on the table, so how do I detonate the big bomb? Oh, look, there's even a pen here. We could probably smash his head on the pen. It seems like all of the opportunities take place in this room. Oh, how convenient. You're going into the old crapper for a little bit of crappy dappy do. Is there anywhere to hide your body in here? You got a beautiful bald head, though. Very, 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 very. Fantastic. This is great. As long as nobody comes into the toilet. Actually, I'll take that. Let's go. Let's get down to work, everybody. This is the new prototype bomb. Let's blow it up. Here... <laughs> Here inside the lab in the building. It's going to be great. Oh, we got more Octane Booster in here. This is so great. All right, I can just maybe chuck it into the room. All right, here he comes. I don't know if this is going to work, but it probably won't, but that's awesome. Is it safe to blow up this room with me inside? Yeah. Here we go. This is going to be sick. Oh, sh Wait, let me throw another one. That was ass. That was so poo. I mean, nobody knows I did it, which is hilarious, but... The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. No, I don't want to do an exit. I, oh, me didgeridoo. I want to I want to do it again. That was crap. Oh, no. Exit to menu. Oh, no. It seems like I've sealed my fate. Fine. I guess I'll... Ooh. Wasn't me. Wasn't, wasn't me. I didn't do it. Leave the area. I am leaving the area, dickhead. I'm trying to get out. Well, that was a little bit lackluster. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting something a little bit more bombastic. Anyway, let's leave um, and figure out, you know, what we're going to do with our life moving forward. Diane is very, very disappointed in you.